I literally just come in and just fuss about and sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. I'll begin with a painting and I'll work on it for like three months but there's got to be a moment when I think, yeah, that is just so banal, and then I know it's finished. It was the beginning of the internet revolution, so I wanted to capture a sense of that by substituting paint for the stock listings of the Financial Times. I've been in the UK for eight years after I um, graduated from Chelsea College of Art, and um, I call myself a figurative abstract painter. I think I made that up. Uh, I make mostly paintings. And they're kind of inspired, I suppose, from trying to respond to or capture what I feel are new landscapes, which is this kind of datascape or information uh, world. I've been a painter now for about 20 years. I take uh, iconic paintings from famous abstract works, abstract artists, and I reinvent them, uh, I reimagine them, I add things to them that shouldn't be there, but somehow add uh, a further reading to those works. It's taken me years to figure out what I like to work on. There is something quite fetishistic about, you know, having a blank canvas in front of you. What I'm looking for in a canvas is strength, really. So I, I, I use the heaviest that I, can, that I can use that's still relatively smooth and has some teeth, you know, to it so then the collage can grip onto it. I like the feeling that the paint, that the canvas is, is like hanging onto the paint. The one thing that I look for is a quality surface. I'm looking for a canvas that doesn't look too mechanical, that doesn't look too, too kind of even in a sense, that it will have a little bit of character, a little bit of personality. That's graininess and has a thick texture, but also has a bit of, of silkiness, if that makes any sense. The other thing that I'm looking for is a canvas that uh, has a degree of weight and durability to it, uh, a canvas that is well primed. I don't like um, priming my own canvas. You've wasted all this time and all this money when you can just go buy pre-primed because I like the consistency of the grain. When you stretch a canvas, uh, you're after a, a perfect tension. I mean, kiln dried wood is really important for, for a stretcher so that the canvas doesn't warp. I uh, flick the surface and if it sounds like a drum, um, then I, I think it's all right. I think it's good. A properly prepared canvas can make or break your, your painting. So yeah, durability is key. There are things that you have to consider about the um, archival durability of your work. Buy the best quality materials you can afford at that time in your life. Because you know you're only cheating yourself, really. Mm -hmm.